Well, a part of I-25 really has become a hot spot for crashes. We're talking about sections of the interstate right at the 84th Avenue exit. And today, a crash there shut down the southbound lanes for hours. Denver 7 traffic specialist Jason Luber was tracking conditions throughout the morning rush. And he shared these photos that show the delays these crashes can cause. Look at that. Well, tonight, Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez is searching for answers and solutions to an area some say is dangerous. Tuesday morning rush hour came to a grinding halt along southbound Interstate 25 near 84th Avenue. Drivers stuck in miles of traffic. Thornton police say one of the vehicles involved, an 18-wheeler, lost 100 gallons of diesel fuel, which forced them to shut down the freeway for hours. What they're doing is they're vacuuming up the diesel fuel, and then they'll begin to scrub it so as to not cause any further uh, damage to the blacktop. Over the last several months, accidents along I-25 between 104th and Highway 36 have become an everyday occurrence. CDOT says last year there were more than 700 crashes along that stretch. They say they're still calculating the recent ones. There is, at this point, minor enforcement as we continue to study and do investigation or try to figure out exactly um, what is happening in this stretch of area. One of the factors Thornton Police attributes to the crashes, Colorado's ever-increasing population. Really, at the, at the base, it shows volume. There's just a lot of vehicles that are moving through, trying to get where they are. Growth is big, the volume is large. While Thornton PD points to an overcrowded I-20 for the high number of crashes. Others say it's not that simple. A minor crash up to the north side of town. It looks like taillights, unfortunately, across the north side of town right now. See the car is facing the wrong direction. This is northbound I-25. Denver 7 traffic anchor Jason Luber has been alerting morning commuters about the crashes along Interstate 25 for some time now and says he believes one of the reasons for the crashes is the express lane where cars are moving at a high speed with three other lanes moving slower and drivers trying to weave in and out to avoid getting charged in the express lane. I think the HOV uh, alleviates some of that as, as, as it was designed. However, I can't speak to whether or not that is the reason for the accidents. Um, we do not know that. The Colorado Department of Transportation says a solution is on the way. Starting next week, they'll roll out an awareness campaign highlighting the rules of driving in the express lane in hopes of keeping everyone on the road safe. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.